Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Welcome back. I am Cikgu Zana. I'm all about helping all the mathematics STPM students in scoring A's in their exam. In this video, I have prepared a lesson on integration chapter 5 in the mathematics M syllabus, semester 1. So we shall be learning how to find the volume of revolution, part 1. And you can also scan the QR code above to watch more video lessons in my channel. This lesson is the first part on volume of revolution. By the end of this lesson, students should be able to find the volume of revolution about the x-axis and volume of revolution about the y-axis. So let's look at the volume of revolution about the x-axis. The volume V generated when the region enclosed by the curve Y equal F of X. The X axis and the lines X equal A and X equal B rotated 2 pi radian about the X axis is given by pi the integral of Y squared with respect to X from x equal a to x equal b. So it's easy for us to remember the formula. When it's rotated about the x-axis, we integrate with respect to x. Here is the first example on how to use the formula to find the volume of revolution when it's rotated about the x-axis. We are given the curve y equal 1 over square root 4 minus x squared. We are required to find the volume generated when the shaded region is rotated 2 pi radians about the x-axis. Thus, since the shaded region is rotated about the x-axis, the volume v is given as pi the integral of y squared with respect to x from x negative 1 to x equal 1. y squared is obtained by squaring y equal 1 over square root 4 minus x squared. Thus, we have pi the integral of 1 over 4 minus x squared with respect to x from x negative 1 to x 1. Now, we can factorize 1 over 4 minus x squared. Thus, we have 1 over 2 plus x multiplied by 2 minus x. Next, we have to decompose two partial fractions in order to integrate. The partial fraction is of the form a over 2 plus x plus b over 2 minus x. Since the denominator consists of two linear factors. Multiplying both sides by the expression 2 plus x, 2 minus x, we have 1 equal a times 2 minus x plus b times 2 plus x. Substituting x equal negative 2, a is 1 over 4. Substituting x equal 2, b is 1 over 4. Thus, the partial fraction is 1 over 4 times 2 plus x plus 1 over 4 times 2 minus x. Taking out the common factor 1 over 4 outside the integral, so we have 1 over 2 plus x plus 1 over 2 minus x. So the integral of 1 over 2 plus x is ln 2 plus x. The integral of 1 over 2 minus x is negative ln 2 minus x. Substituting the upper limits x equal 1, we have ln 3 
minus log 1. Substituting the lower limits x equal negative 1, we have log 1 minus log 3. Now, log 1 is 0. Thus, we have pi over 4 times 2 log 3. Simplifying, the volume is pi over 2 log 3 units cubed. Example 2. Find the volume of the solid generated when the region bounded by the ellipse x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 equal 1 is rotated through pi radians about the x-axis. Firstly, it is advisable to have a rough sketch of the graph to identify the area to be rotated. So, at the x-axis, y is 0, thus x is negative 3 or x is 3. So the area bounded by the ellipse is... Observe that the area covers the upper part and the lower part of the x-axis. Thus, it is sufficient to rotate pi radian about the x-axis to form a complete solid. Next, we have to convert y in terms of x. So, from the equation x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 equal 1, we have y squared equal 4 minus 4 over 9 x squared. So, the volume of revolution is pi the integral of y squared with respect to x from x negative 3 to x3. Substituting y squared, we have 4 minus 4 over 9 x squared. Integrating, we have 4x minus 4x to the power of 3 over 27. Substituting the upper limits, 12 minus 4. Substituting the lower limits, negative 12 plus 4. Thus, the volume is 16 pi units cubed. Next, the volume of revolution about the y-axis. The volume of revolution V generated when the region enclosed by the curve x equal f of y and the lines y equal a, y equal b and the y-axis rotated two pi radians about the y-axis is given by v equal pi the integral of x squared with respect to y from y equal a to y equal b. Example 3. Find the volume of the solid generated when the region bounded by the y-axis, the curve y equal x squared plus 2, the lines y equal 2, and y equals 6 is rotated through 2 pi radians about the y-axis. So the region bounded by the curve y equals x squared plus 2, the y-axis and the line y equals 6 is, this region is rotated through 2 pi radians about the y-axis. Thus, we must convert x squared in terms of y. Hence, the volume of revolution is pi the integral of y minus 2 with respect to y from y equal 2 to y equal 6. Integrating, we have y squared over 2 minus 2y. Substituting the upper limits, we have 18 minus 12. Substituting the lower limits, we have 2 minus 4. Thus, the volume of revolution is 8 pi units cubed. Next example, the region bounded by the curve y equal e to the power of x, the line y equal 3, and the y-axis is rotated through 2 pi radians about the y-axis. 
find the volume of the solid generated. So the region bounded by the curve y equal e to the power of x, the y-axis, and the line y equal 3 is, this region is rotated through 2 pi radians about the y-axis. Thus, the volume of revolution is pi, the integral of x squared with respect to y, from y equal 1 to y equal 3. Our x is log y, which is obtained from the equation y equal e to the power of x. Taking ln both sides, we have x equal ln y. Now, to integrate ln y, we have to use the integration by part. So, letting u be ln y squared, differentiating, we have 2 ln y multiplied by 1 over y. Letting dv dy as 1, integrating, we have v equals y. Substituting into the formula, phi in brackets, this is v multiplied by u minus the integral of v multiplied by du dy with respect to y from y equal 1 to y equal 3. Substituting the upper limits, we have 3 ln 3 squared. Substituting the lower limits, we have ln 1 which is 0 minus the integral of 2 ln y. Again, we have to use the integration by parts. So, letting u as ln y, differentiating 1 over y, letting dv dy as 1, integrating v is y. So again, substitute into the formula. We take the constant 2 outside, so we have y ln y minus the integral of, when you simplify this, is 1 with respect to y. The integral of 1 is y, so substituting the limits, the volume of revolution is pi in brackets. 3 ln 3 squared minus 6 ln 3 plus 4 units cube. So the summary for today's lesson. When a region is rotated about the x-axis, the volume generated is given as pi, the integral of y squared with respect to x from x equal a to x equal b. Remember, rotated about the x-axis, we integrate with respect to x. When a region is rotated about the y-axis, the volume generated is given as pi, the integral of x squared with respect to y from y equal a to y equal b. Again, students, if rotated about the y-axis, we integrate with respect to y. And students, please do not forget to join part 2 as we are going to learn how to find the volume generated by the region between two curves. That's about all for today. Again, thank you for joining. Please do more practice as practice makes perfect. And please do visit Cik Kuzana channel for more video lessons. By the way, do not forget to subscribe. Till then, good luck in your exams. Stay safe. Study well. Goodbye.